is a stern warning from a woman on the Cape. Her personal information broadcast on the Howard Stern Show, and she says the IRS is to blame for this. Jim Smith is live in our satellite center with the exclusive details tonight. Jim? David, this has become an absolute nightmare for this woman. What she thought was a private, sensitive financial conversation was, in fact, anything but private. No one should go through something like this. I'm she doesn't want her face shown or name used, and who can blame her after what she's been through? It all began when she called the IRS to iron out a tax issue. I started to receive phone calls and text messages from all over the country informing me that the information I was discussing with the IRS agent was being aired on the Howard Stern Show. That's right. A portion of what she thought was a private call was in fact being transmitted via satellite to millions of listeners, including her personal phone number. But when you make the payment, it's going to go towards the tax. It's always going towards the tax until the tax is reduced down to zero. My phone number is out there, my personal conversation, and I just feel terribly violated. The IRS agent was apparently on another line with the Stern Show at the same time, but didn't seem to realize he was on the air. Jimmy! Well, if he's working, we can't interrupt him. I said, are you speaking to Howard Stern? And he said something to the effect of, I was, or I was on hold, or something like that. An IRS statement says, we are aware of this troubling situation, and we are currently reviewing the matter. The IRS takes the confidentiality of taxpayer information very seriously, and we have high standards that we expect and require employees to follow. A special agent informed me that the agent that I had spoken with initially was sent home on administrative leave, and that the case was under investigation. Are you a collector? Yeah, for the government. Oh, because it was about taxes. And ever since this happened, the woman tells me that she's been a nervous wreck. She hasn't even been able to eat. She is strongly considering hiring an attorney. Live in the Satellite Center, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Lisa? Thank you, Jim.